Hi, Karen here. I just wanted to um, hop on here and make this video to introduce you to Pretty Petals, a gorgeous uh, online exclusive stamp set uh, and die. So it's a um, bundle, so 10% if you buy them together. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love the um, texture, the distinctive stamp with the different shading and the fact that you can stamp the leaves and stamp the um, flowers, two-step stamping. So I wanted to share a simple fancy fold with you that I haven't made for ages. Um, and so I couldn't find the instructions. I had to measure everything up on my card that I've kept. So let me show you. I've drawn it up anyway. So obviously not to scale. Uh, dotted lines mean score and the straight line means cut. So I'm going to walk through it with you. But this is just showing you 1 inch, 2 inch, 6.5 and then cut down, right down to the one inch from the 6.5 fold. So let me show you with my, oh, I don't know what that is, just ignore that. Okay, we have to open it out. Okay, see, see if I can, see if I can get it all on screen for you. So you can see that still. Let's turn it, oh, I don't know what that's from. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll go down this end. So, it's going to be awkward actually. Never mind, let's just move some things around. So, we're going to use our scorer. So, I am always put my um, blade away while we do this. Now, I'm doing this in this colour, so it might be easy for you to see. But I'm going to um, go, because this is one inch in as well. I should have marked that actually. So, that's one inch in. Let me do that now. That is um, one inch. There we go. Okay, so one inch, and we're going to be using the ruler as well. So I'm going to take that at one inch. I'm going to take that across. That line is going to go to there and back. I'm going to lift it up. And then I'm going to go, it's four and a quarter to three and a quarter. Take it down to two. And I'm going to do the same thing. Take it to three and a quarter. Lift it up. And bring it back to one. Okay, and then we're going to take it down to 6.5. Um, here. And we're going to do the same thing, bring it into one, lift it up, and take it to three and a quarter. And then we're going to come back to 5.5, and we're going to start at three and a quarter, and go to one. So this is the 5.5 scoring, okay? Now we're going to turn it round. Now I did it in this colour because I thought I was really trying to see if we can, um, you can see the marks. But it's not that clear, is it? So what I might do is just, um, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to just mark on the edge where I have scored for these lines. I don't need that one. I need this one because it's going to go all the way down to there. Okay. So we're going to start at a one at one inch in. Let's turn it around. One inch. Okay, so make sure that's straight. And I'm going to start. So this time we are using the blade. Start at that dot. So the six what you measured at six point five down to the one. Like that, and then we're going to turn it over. We'll start down the bottom, which can be hard for you to see. Let me pull this up a little bit. So, push, take it across to the one. Start at the one inch. No, you can't really. But and then we're going to go to that dot there. There we go. So that's all you need to do to get the card ready 
So next, get your bone folder, and you're going to fold these. So what I did is just actually give them a little bit of a fold with my fingers first. Okay, and that one, and that one. So that's the card um, score for the halfway mark. So once you do that, you see it, it just slips down really easily. Very simple to make this, and it's just a, such a lovely little, um, lovely little pop-up card. Okay, so I have obviously pre-done it. That was just to show you what we were doing. So let me grab the one I've done, and I have popped maps on it already. So this grey mat is Country Lace and is in the annual catalogue. And the gorgeous pink um, is from Unbound Beauty. And the sentiment is from Simply Zinnia. And I have stamped on the inside. This is using bubble bath. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, a tip with the popping the flowers. If you wanted to die cut, so as you, where did I put it? See, you've got the dies okay so you've got this die that cuts out the whole thing once you've stamped it and then the, you've got the single flowers as well and then you've got this which actually cuts out the flowers um, singularly okay so um, just a couple of tips I want to share with you so if you want to make sure I found when I did it um, stamp the leaves and stamp the flowers it didn't line up exactly so um, what I did was stamp the leaves and now I'm going to pop the le uh, flowers on now when I was trying to figure this out as well the flowers actually come downwards sort of like a daisy they're like a daisy flower and they come downwards okay so they're not I was trying to put them up but they actually the petals come down Okay, so if you then look at your die cut, and that's going to come around there, you can see where you need to pop your flowers, and that makes them right on the edge there and a perfect fit. Okay, so another way. Um, tip with these flowers so we're going to stamp um, the flowers okay in bubble bath hopefully this I might need to cut that down actually I'm going to use my mini so I keep forgetting that it's um it is a little bit skinnier isn't it I'm not sure I still got enough room I've got my trusty trimmer. Okay, that is the whole thing. And we're going to stamp. Doesn't matter which which way. Okay. Shut that. I'll get the die. I'll get my trimmer. I hate to, uh, well, no, hate, but um, I prefer not to use my <laughs> any of my these sort of machines on the table because they do wobble so much. But that's okay. Right. So basic mat there, and pop this on top. Brand new, just for you plates. Okay, let's find where this goes. This ink pad probably needs a refill, like a re-ink, but I actually decided I wanted it to be not as, you know, strong. I wanted it to be soft. So I thought, no, I won't re-ink at this point. Oh, 
I don't know what's happening. Oh, that must be fireworks, I think. So, can you hear that? Sorry. Gosh. Now, my tip is, oh my gosh, very close. My tip is to leave them in there to then put on. So you've got them exactly as they should be on the stamp. So we're going to, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? I don't know if you could hear it through there, but if you get them and manoeuvre them so that they are as they should be for the, um, well, you could, it's probably better to do this, actually. Um, so we'll take it round. To there. So that means you know exactly where it is. Let's get some. So I'm only going to glue down the small ones and I'm going to dimensional the other ones. So let's just pop. I must be doing fireworks there. I don't know why they want to do them in the um, daylight. <laughs> oh, my glue running out. No, oh, no. I can hear some more popping off in there. Okay. So I'm just going to grab this one. So I've got it right. Okay. And gosh, they must have done the right on the border. So it's the proper key. <laughs> no warning, the pets will probably be petrified at the moment. <coughs> last one that's little the big ones are easy to tell which ones are which anyway but this is just such an easy way then to make sure you know which um, petal goes where because when you die if you die cut them and then you know just put them on the table to put on then you're not quite sure where they go okay and then I'm going to get dimensionals for these ones like a stencil now okay oh. um, I remember they go up the other way So pretty. I mean, you, you could do col endless colours, but they are—they do look like daisies, and I think it's beautiful um, if you cut them out white and then just stamped on. If you just added a bit of yellow to the tip and then stamped, that would be super pretty as well. Okay. That's stuck. Last one. There we go. No. 
Let's just pop some on the back. Okay. Right. Get some space here and get the card back. I'm going to use this to pop the flower on. So what I want to do is just add some speckles. So I'm using the fat end of the brush. Um, totally up to you if you want to do this sort of thing with your um, pens. You just um, be very gentle when you when you do it, so that your um, nib stays nice and ready to use for colouring or whatever. And there we go. And then I also want to add, so I'm going to get my um, stamp and seal. I'm just going to add a couple of strips of that there. Hopefully I'm in the right place. And this gorgeous gold thread, gold twisted thread, is also coming in November uh, with the online exclusives. So I thought I would use that to just do a gorgeous bow. But I don't want a lump in the middle, so I'm just going to do it like this. Another one, lovely and lovely feel to it. And one more. There we go. later <coughs> and then we will stick this on top very pretty there we go Right, so let's pop this on the front. I just want to put a couple of strips down the middle here because it's um, not going the whole width. So let's just pop that down there, like so. And now we've got to add some, of course, we need to have some... Um, bling. Now I've got two options because I wasn't quite sure which ones I wanted to use. So I do have these little gold ones which would match the thread and um, that would be quite pretty I think or yeah I think I'll use the gold. Okay. Oops. Tuck that one in there. And tuck that one in there. And there you have your card using the new, beautiful new stamp set Pretty Petals. Pretty Petals. And um, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So it sits, it's a bit hard to show you, it sits like this, so um, it comes out. So it's a, it's a step, step card, <laughs> a step card, and um, the side looks like, the side looks like that. Um, I have made another one in another color, 
it's uh, garden green and petal pink so that's that one and then I also just did a quick live on the basic two-step stamping this is just a very simple quick easy card to go and so beautiful with these gorgeous images from this stamp set so hope you enjoy that hope you um, give it a go with this set and um, creating this simple fancy fold um, really loved bringing this to you please any questions just send me a message on or make a comment and I will reply so um, enjoy